Hey there guys, Erin here again today and uh, today I'm going to go over the signs that you are fat adapted or at least these are the signs that I noticed once I became fat adapted versus just being on a ketogenic diet. So let's take a minute and kind of define some of the terms. So being keto is basically being on a ketogenic diet. And so what kind of diet is that? That is a low carb, high fat diet. So you're choosing to run and fuel your body off of fats versus carbohydrates. And when you do that, you produce ketones or get into a state of ketosis in which you are fueling your body again off the fats. So once you are kind of producing ketones, you go into this state in which your body's kind of like, whoa, okay, we were fueling and going off of carbohydrates and other things before, so we were kind of pedaling this way, and now you want us to take a minute and stop and kind of burn and fuel this way. So you're kind of going from the backwards way, so the carbohydrate way, to the forwards way, the fat burning way. And so when you kind of go from this state, your body will kind of have like a moment of, whoa, 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 I gotta think about this. And you'll have a very yucky period. Um, people kind of call it the adaption phase. Um, the keto flu is a symptom in there, but the total adaption time truly does vary from person to person. It does depend on what kind of diet you were having before and what kind of uh, way you're trying to get into ketosis now. So going through the adaptation phase can be kind of draining. Um, it will vary again from person to person. And so just being kind of aware that it could be a day, it could be several weeks. Um, you know, it, it truly does vary from person to person, but it's something that each person goes through um, as they kind of go into a uh, ketogenic diet and they kind of change the way again that they're fueling themselves. So, um, there's also a various amount of time from the time that you start your ketogenic diet to when you will become fully adapted. I have seen reports from anywhere from a week, which I feel is pretty optimistic, to up to 12 weeks. And so just know that um, it can take a longer time or it can take a short amount of time, if you get really lucky, uh, for each person to kind of fully adapt. So the adap adaption phase, you can experience you know, tiredness, lethargia, symptoms of the flu, um, headaches, body aches, chills, lots of fun stuff. Um, you know, an inability to truly sleep, uh, kind of just feeling off in the head. And then once you get to adaption, you get some kind of instantaneous, kind of over the hurdle uh, signs that you are fully adapted and you're running and feeling your body the right way um, or the keto way <laughs> um, once you get on the other side of that. So I noticed that these signs that I was adapted were not only uh, beneficial from the adaption phase, but they were also great improvements from prior to keto and how I was feeling. So the four ones that I experienced um, were first the increase in energy. So just feeling sustained, feeling just straight energy throughout the day. So not feeling worn down, not feeling tired, not feeling bogged or in any way, just straight sustained energy. Um, from the moment I woke up to the time I went to the bed in the evening, just my energy level stayed pretty much the same. I didn't have that 2.30 feeling or three o'clock feeling, whatever it is that people will kind of phrase that time after lunch in which you totally sag down. Um, I wasn't really feeling that time in the morning in which I was like, I can't get out of bed. I mean, I definitely don't want to get out of bed. There's times when I don't want to wake up and I'd rather stay in bed all day, but it wasn't as bad of a feeling as it was before. So sustained, good, decent energy was the first sign that I had become that adapted. The second sign I would say is that my feelings towards like hunger and feeling full and satisfied um, with my meals had changed. I could go long periods of time without eating. I think that makes kind of intermittent fasting and doing kind of those things a lot more easy because you don't really get crazy hungry. Um, you kind of feel sustained after you eat your food and when I do experience hunger now, it's very muted compared to the hunger that I was experiencing prior or even during the adaption phase. So um, the hunger feeling has definitely decreased. The feeling sustained and full and fueled for longer has definitely increased. So those are two great signs um, and I would kind of, kind of pair them together because they're really just, you know, how your stomach's feeling, how it's getting you going. Uh, um, so the third one that I experienced was very deep, very good, very calming sleep. Um, I would almost describe it as weighted sleep. 
I would stay asleep for eight hours. I would am able to uh, fall asleep almost immediately. And then once I'm in that sleep state, it's just so deep. It's almost just like, like the hands of the keto god are like pushing on me and putting me in my bed and just saying like, you will stay asleep for a really long time. Um, yeah, I really don't know how to describe it except for just, just truly just falling, collapsing into my bed and just being there and staying asleep. Prior to this, my mind would constantly run and it would go crazy and so like I would toss and turn and now it's just like good energy all day, good sleep all night. And so I feel like it's really just helped with kind of my sleep issues and my kind of anxiety mind at night. So the fourth one, um, kind of tying into that one, is mental clarity, kind of your mood in general, just your brain um, function, I would say, Prior to being on a ketogenic diet, I had a ton of like brain fog and kind of feeling and you know, I went from that to feeling very um, clear and focused with my thoughts. I've noticed an increased performance at my work and in my job. I'm also a student if you're not familiar with me and um, I've noticed, you know, definitely a higher functioning <laughs> ability to get through my schoolwork there, read longer um, and interpret and understand the materials a little bit better. Um, I've also noticed that my uh, moods increase, so I'm I'm naturally a very positive, like kind of upbeat person, and uh, I'm, I'm more so now. <laughs> um, so things that might have like kind of worn me down, like stressors, are definitely reduced now. I'm definitely not feeling as kind of bogged by them. Um, I'm not finding that they're you know preventing me from sleeping. It's just kind of a more mellow existence um, and I don't feel like I'm in that state of like ah anymore so uh, yeah so the mental clarity the mood improvement just kind of the brain fog in general just going away um, I definitely think that is kind of my fourth sign and symptom that I'm fully gone keto adapted and once you've kind of gotten into this state the great thing is that your body is aware of you know fueling and feeding itself and kind of going through all the functions, being on a keto diet and fueling and going off of fats versus carbohydrates. So if you have a moment in which you slip up and you are not the greatest keto person and you eat carbs or you're in a situation where it's like, I'm just gonna have a feed day or I'm gonna you know take a break from this for a moment because there's just too much going on, your body will remember and it will adapt a lot quicker now that it knows how to do it and now that you've taught it. I mean, if you took several months off, it, you, it would probably be a longer period of time but if you did like a day or a couple days, um, it could quickly, you know, kind of just burn up those carbs and then get right back into that fat burning state um, with very little to no symptoms um, of, you know, things like the keto flu or the adaption period. So yeah, these were my four signs. And just to kind of recap, it was um, energy, uh, not feeling hungry, feeling full and sustained, uh, better sleep, and the mental clarity slash mood improvements. So those are my four signs that I was keto adapted. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys who are on a ketogenic diet would comment below, let me know what some extra symptoms, or not symptoms, but signs were that you were keto adapted um, and that you know, everything was going good for you. So yeah, please comment below with that. So if you are somebody who is new to my channel and you've, you know, kind of recently discovered me, please subscribe because I do put out videos pretty regularly, um, at least three times a week. And um, they go over anything from, you know, tips on keto to kind of food tips to uh, product tips to my keto life in general and just recapping. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, have a great day. Um, I hope everything's going great in your life. See you guys later. Bye.